<laughs> you don't know how many air trains that has messaged me and been yeah. like, Vinny, Vinny, Vinny. Yeah, it's been, it's been really amazing. Ah. Uh, hello, Ron. I'm delighted to be sitting with Binyam and Gumai, the man of the moment last year and the pride of Eritrea and Intermarché, Wanty Group of Air as well, of course. And uh, yeah, Benny, uh, thanks for this and thanks to your team as well for inviting me. But how was 2022 for you? Yeah, uh, first, thanks to everyone, the Eritrean fans. Um, big love for you and uh, let's continue to support. And yeah, for me it was super, a big year. It was the historical year for me and for the team also, you know, to to win a big two stages and then uh, to to have to five as a general team was super good, super happy and uh, I'm looking forward for the next season. How was the Giro de Tire for you? It was kind of your, yeah, your first Giro, a big step for it any rider and then on the first stage you're already in the mix for the stage win yeah i mean it's uh was really surprised to see uh the first grand tour and then the first stage was second is a massive sprint and also in the podium with the white jersey was was super good and uh, yeah, just give me more uh, motivate and then more uh, self-confidence and then that in, well, you were kind of here that well, very close on, on numerous occasions, and then stage ten, starting in Piscara, I actually waved to you in Piscara. You waved back, and uh, yeah, how was that day for you? Yeah, that day was uh, super amazing. I think everyone from Eritrea they just waiting for this day for sure because you now before we just thinking to have one rider participate in any Grand Tour. And then after that, they are thinking, oh, maybe one writer we are waiting to win. And yeah, for uh, for me, it was from the start until the finish was everything was perfect. We saw the team, how they work, how they, you know, even the GC writer, they can, they make a little like Ponso. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't handed on a plate for you. Macho Wonderful was desperately trying to yeah, mess up the plan in a way. And uh, it was was super amazing. You know, we start the sprint 300 meters to go, and then starting then to finish was I don't know. It's just special for me and for uh, all uh, all it, and I think so that day. So yeah, well, you are a train. There's no secret about that, and I think you've just brought this huge energy as well. And all the trains, they've kind of all appeared now. At every single cycling race you're at, uh, yeah. it's kind of like, uh, yeah. How's that fun. been for you? But it's it's nice. I mean, it's uh, it's nice to see uh, to see your nation in front of any races. You know, you go Canada, you find them, and then uh, you go, uh, especially in Europe, in Belgium also. There is some uh, big fans. It's uh, I heard Germany as well. In in Frankfurt was, it was crazy. <laughs> it was it was totally crazy. It was really nice. And then when you go back home, also you know, even when you go training, there is much more big fans and give you a moral, uh, just you know, uh, positive things. I, I I'm really happy to to see them in the race. Saw the scenes after you won the national time trial championships as well. It was just <laughs> a, a party on the streets. Yeah, that was. Uh, Crazy, you know. They just put me in there, and then they go there from where it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's the culture of the cycling in Eritrea. You know, when I was young, also when you win, uh, they are always uh, a big party after the race. It's, uh, it's, it's really uh, a nice uh, a culture of cycling we have. So uh, I hope let's continue like this, and uh, yeah, uh, let's grow for the future. So, well, it's certainly, yeah, yeah, Trey's golden generation and you're spearheading that. But yeah. looking towards, with your team as well, uh, there's been a lot of change in the team for the 2023 season. Obviously, the big goal for you, it seems, is the Classics and the Tour de France. Exactly. How are you kind of preparing for, like, it's two very different kinds of racing as well. Yeah, uh, I mean, 
the first thing is for sure it's the big old can be tour but when you look behind in, in, in before it's we have three monuments okay the first the first one was quite with me Milan San Remo and that's a big monument of course so I already tried last year was not bad I was 12 and then now I need to improve some and then also now everything is clear ID and uh, to have a, a recon before and then to have a good team around you so that means a little bit change than last year so we also have a uh, Gentfolgen uh, again that's also a big race and uh, Flandern for sure that's also a big race so I mean this year was quite organized program and then I also have a uh, uh, talk with Ike with my performance manager and, and my trainer so in which uh, date I have to be in the shape and then in which race I have to be prepared so I think uh, we still have enough time to prepare for a tour for sure and then first thing is we need to prepare well for the spring classics because that's also a big opportunity to have a good result with, with what I have the team if you look at my team and uh, also for the tour is for sure I have one month enough preparation for the altitude camp at home and then again Tour Suisse, a good block of uh, race and then yeah, Tour. So we have a, a, a really a, a clear idea and an organized plan. What do you think of the Tour de France route in 2023? Uh, I was quite interesting. I mean, uh, there is five, six stage they really suit me and then also the the flat sprint was uh, uh, something special to uh, to see in, in tour you know and um, yeah it's uh, it's interesting i think this year to to participate tour. and i'm thinking um well you're coming from eritrea you told me that in eritrea the most popular sport is cycling so who was kind of your inspiration when you were growing up uh, yeah, I mean, as a cyclist now, for me, also the monument is, is quite big, but yeah, as you say, when I grow up, more inspired me is for sure is Tour de France. So, yeah, for me, it's uh, even to to know now, from now, you am um, participate in Tour, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's also a final question about... Uh, a big motivate and yeah, it's a more... Uh, yeah. Interesting is this tool for the for the people for sure. So final question, as we're all freezing here, uh, even though it's Spain. But um, Rwanda 2025, that's the first World Championships in Africa. Yeah. Um, how is that for you? Is that something you're targeting in the long term, or or do you think about that? Yeah, I mean it's uh, we still have before uh, Olympic Games and. Uh, yeah, the other uh, programs, but yeah, first we need have to look at uh, the parkour, how is it? <laughs> and but yeah, even only to, to have uh, a world champion in Africa, it's, it's, it's special. So yeah, it's, uh, it's in the long term, so we will see for the next two years. Yeah, thanks very much for your time, Vinny. <laughs> Can I just get a photo as well with us? Yeah, <laughs>